All right, Rob, we're uh, into week two of the uh, of the season. Let's just reflect a little bit on the week, the game just gone. Leicester Tigers, you must have been pleased with that performance. Yeah, really pleased. But I mean, pleased with how we approached it in all ways. You know, emotionally, we were great. Um, physically, you could tell we looked fit, that we had a, a really good pre-season. Uh, and tactically, we got pretty much everything right, other than we, we got a couple of got a couple of kick decisions wrong, and that put us under a, battle, a little bit of pressure after we were comfortable in the game. But then the, the great thing was was that how we rebounded from those kind of mistakes and those quick scores from Leicester and got up to the other end of the field and, and controlled territory and possession pretty much for the rest of the game until we scored. You know, I, I know it can be frustrating getting held up and you know we had a knock on close to the line as well and, and you know we, we did everything we could but score a couple of times but actually the intent to get on with it and score and, and I can imagine if you looked at it the other way around and I, I'd say this to our supporters who were kind of who still might go, oh, it took us a long time to score this pieces. If you were watching that from the other way around as a Leicester supporter, you'd have probably been thinking for 15 or 20 minutes that eventually we were going to score. And that's exactly what happened. And I think, for me, that, that shows we've got a lot in the tank. We've been well prepared through pre-season. Emotionally, the players are really into it and they're really desperate to play. It's a great start to what we really want to achieve here at Sandy Park, which is make this a really tough place to come and win. I thought we did that exceptionally well. And for me, that was about as good a start as we could have hoped for. Absolutely. I think it was um, it was great to see some of the new signings over the summer get their first run out. Solomon obviously got a start, and uh, and That's Rory and, and Ruben came off the bench. Pleased to see them. Pleased to see them settling in well. Definitely. And and when you think, you know, that to be fair, um, Rory didn't have a, a full week's training because he picked up a little bit of a knock at um, at, at Ulster. Um, and so you know, we, we he didn't train right at the start of the week, but then came through strong at the end. Ruben actually wasn't playing at Ulster because he had had a knock late in pre-season. So hadn't actually taken a full part in the last few weeks training, but came on and looked great. Dave, obviously, you'd be, guys would be aware, wasn't involved at Ulster debuters. But he was still kind of on that comeback trail, got involved with the bench, did really, really well. There's a lot of things there around the, the strength of the squad, and especially with the with how close some of our other players are. You know, Hodgy, Slady, Luke Handicky, Sam Simmons, you know, those guys. You know, uh, Hoggy, they are they are not far off being available again in the next two three weeks, and we're looking we're looking like a group that's ready to go and, and ready to play some really good rugby. Fantastic! And just a quick note on the on the atmosphere of Sandy Park when that final try was scored, the roof came off the place. Yes. It must have been great to hear that roar again, and and it felt like supporters really got behind what was happening. Oh, definitely. And I think what was really good was I think I think we talked a lot about it in pre season. The players. The players created the atmosphere by what they were doing, their full-blooded commitment to the game, how they were going after the game, the kind of relentless way they played. And that really drew the crowd in and you could feel the crowd bubbling and growing and building with the team. And, and that's exactly what you want. That's exactly what we wanted this first game to go like. And, and to be fair, I think we've ticked a lot of boxes at the start of the season. Absolutely. Looking ahead, I mean, Worcester's, obviously the, the problems that are, that are there at the club are well documented. Let's, let's park that for a moment. What are you... What are you focusing on as you go into this game week? You know, they, problems like this can galvanise a club, and they will they will be looking to put on a performance in front of their fans who have shown that there is you know there is a real rugby culture in Worcester that's strong. Hundred percent. I mean, the, what we talked spoke about earlier in the week is look, everyone's talking about what's going on in Worcester and the, the ifs and buts of what might happen. But let's also face facts. You know, there's talk about a new owner coming in. There's talk about them getting a lot of supporters in to show the support for the club. You know, it could very much become a fresh start weekend for the club as well. And we've got to make sure that emotionally, you know, we don't get overwhelmed by that. On the flip side, as you say, there are some doubts over fixtures happening. But at the end of the day, we want to play. We feel we're in a good place. I think the players feel in a good place. They all want to play. They're ready to go. And that's exactly how I want it to feel. We're not sitting here actually sitting here going, oh, can't someone just tell us that the game's off and we can just get on with getting ready for the next game. We're sitting here going, someone just tell us the game's on as we get on with things, we get up the motorway, we spend that time in the hotel together and we can look forward to going rugby. And that, that's the atmosphere I want to have here. Um, I think the, the lads are aware that you know we lost up there last season in a, in a funny game, in a game where we probably, well, we, I think we all know we let ourselves down. But that's a really good incentive for us to get up there and make sure we play really well. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Rob.